On the previous episode, we installed the zigzag exhaust pipe and tested the Dragon rocket stove. It's time to stretch the air intake pipe to reach outside. Right now I'm driving a pilot hole, so we know how to cut through here and put the um, intake, the rest of the intake piping in. You're out. We'll just make quick work of this. Power tool. Never thought of that. We do I have the other side? You know, this is five inch. Yeah, this will fit. Let's take it out and let's put it together. This is my friend Marvin. He's helping us get piping done today. Just like that. Oh, jeez. That's perfect. Good. Run it off. <laughs> so what's in there? Any Who's a mouse? We've had the rocket stove for several years, and uh, we don't really burn it a great deal. Just during the, like the really colder winter days. All right, let's see what kind of dust we're looking at. Oh, look at that! A smittering of dust. Let me go in there and look. And there were spiderwebs that, which is surprising because spiderwebs melt. Wow. Hardly nothing, huh? Yes, it, it tells us how cool those pipes actually run. So it's, it was good to be able to see that most of the heat that's been coming off of the chamber is really what's radiating into the room. And then the other heat that's coming out of the flue is really being stored in the bench. And there's not a great deal of bench in the bench, just enough to keep it you know, nice and warm to set on with a little cushion. Very heat efficient. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to bring the shop back inside, but Shelly wouldn't let that happen because <laughs> those things really spread out quite a bit of dust. Fortunately, we had a window close by, and I could put the shop back in the window, and so we didn't have to work it. This is our big cob pile, or clay pile. Yep. Are we ready? I think so. Pick some weed. So we're just gonna build it up through the course of a few days. Let it dry, build it up, type of deal. Lay it down. Got to the mental level that I wanted to be at. <laughs> okay. It'll all be taken care of when we get this built up. I stick a little hole in each one of the rounds so that the next stack of cob that goes on our dryer section plugs in like Legos, like building blocks. We can only move about a foot of cob at a time, only due to the fact that if you stack too much, you'll start to sag and squish down. So you can only do about a foot a day. We're gonna cob the whole wall, all the way to the ceiling. That oh, flange piece is perfectly waterproof now, and then this just caps right over the top of that. Great. And um, we'll just... I need to make some adjustments to our flange piece, and we'll be able to Get that up on the roof. Fold down and it's gonna fall over the top of it. This is where the fold is gonna go. This is the top, that's the pitch of the roof. Pretty tough stuff. We've left our two inches to make sure we have plenty of clearance and now we're using some wet patch to seal our uh, flange piece on top. Squishy. Squish it on down. All right, looking great. This is coming out good. It's because it looks bad, Dad's responsible for it. No. I think it's beautiful. Okay, go down about a foot. Keep coming. Hey, come on down. 
One way that we want to let our cob dry faster is I want to go ahead and put some plastic over our windows and cover our entrance and then fire up the stove. Your concern is that it's just too much cob. The whole wall is a bit much. If you look at the bench that we already have, the heat only goes onto the top of it anyway. No matter how hot you get it, the sides and the back of that never heat up. That heat never expands to that. It only expands up a bit. So we just need to figure out where that heat stops expanding and then put that Okay. Make that amount. That's helpful because if we put like here, if we know heat heat goes up, we yeah. can go thicker up here. We decided to change the layout of the piping because, well, we really didn't want to cob the whole wall. More parts. Making the piping a little lower, and that'll also help kind of keep the the heat lower to the ground because heat rises. So I'm hoping that'll help the uh, the room stay warm. It's just so wet. It's almost like the day we put it on. Let's, uh, let's turn a fire, right? I think yeah. I'm happier, yeah. Keeps most of the heat down a little lower. Stay tuned for episode six of the Dragon Rocket Stove as we continue to cob this dragon beast. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Garen and his friend built a really cool ski bike. He called me the, uh, yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. He said he was running with it as he's falling, getting back up, running, still kind of all in one motion, and he broke, broke one of the front skis. Garen has a video on how the ski bike was made. If you want to check it out, link in description. What's down there, Max? That looks exciting. You digging a hole? He's licking your leg. Is that very encouraging. Nicely done, Diesel. Go. Sorry, I'm singing a song from okay. Nirvana. Go ahead, though. We're good now. Um. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. We're talking wall. We're talking wall. They are so noisy. You're so skinny. Little do you know. One, two, three, yes. Pull my neck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>